Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 15th of December 1933, the 21st Amendment to the United States Constitution came into effect, repealing the 18th Amendment, which had made the sale, manufacture and transportation of alcohol illegal. Having been proposed on the 20th of February 1933, the 21st Amendment was ratified on the 5th of December. Prohibition had been introduced in 1920 as a result of the 18th Amendment. This ban on the sale, production, importation and transportation of alcoholic beverages was greeted with delight by members of the temperance movement, but many law-abiding Americans who had previously been drinkers felt anger towards the government for criminalising what they viewed as a harmless activity. As a result, some members of the public were willing to break the law, and this quickly ushered in a period of criminal activity focused around the production of illegal bootlegged alcohol. Al Capone, one of Prohibition's most famous gangster bosses, made around $60 million a year from bootlegging alcohol and then selling it in so-called speakeasies. Izzy Einstein, one of the government's most famous Prohibition agents, demonstrated the scale of the problem facing the authorities who were trying to enforce the ban on alcohol. When visiting New Orleans, it took Einstein just 35 seconds to obtain liquor after his taxi driver from the station offered him a bottle of whiskey. Combined with many police officers being paid by the criminals to turn a blind eye to illegal activity, prohibition brought lawlessness and corruption to America. In the wake of the Wall Street crash, repealing prohibition made sound economic sense, although the introduction of the 21st Amendment went on to ensure that individual states were still able to enforce their own alcohol laws. Thank you.